Hi guys, it's me, your friendly neighborhood medium, aka the Mitchin medium, aka Brittany, aka Brit Brat, aka well, a lot of people have a lot of different names for me. <laughs> we would be here all night. Um, so I am coming to you with your week at a glance. Um, it's kind of gonna be a lightning round of week at a glance because. It's already late o'clock for Brittany. I've had a really rough day already today. Um, as you can see, I've already had my shower. I've got my fancy little crocheted shirt on here. Super comfortable in my jammies under the fan. Um, lightning round. We get a glance, right? It's... Where did I put my phone? I don't know where I put my phone. Oh, there it is. It's almost 9 o'clock already. I'm usually in bed by now. For those of you who know me, you know I like my sleep. Um, for those of you who are on my actual friends list on Facebook and not just a mint medium, like in my page, um, you'll know that this morning I posted a pretty out there post. Um, I've just been having a really bad day. I actually cried all the way to work today. Not because I had to go to work, but because I wasn't sure... I've been feeling very a lot like I'm not on the path that I'm meant to be on. So when I get like that, I just, I can usually just let it go. But I had a very therapeutic cry today. Um, and I drove safely, don't worry. I have mastered the whole doing things and crying at the same thing, at the same time. It's an anxiety thing, so <laughs> you learn how to cry and do other things at the same time. Um... I am better now. Um, I have been crafting all night. Well, not all night. Um, I did dye some fabric. My hands are still kind of blue and green tinted. Um, I've been working on things for the craft fair coming up in Lawton on July 7th. I will have a booth. Um, I've been making salves. I've been making little, I don't want to call them tapestries because that's not really what they are. Um, this is not something that you're going to want to wash. Um, these are more hang on the wall, um, put them under a glass top table type of thing. I made this one tonight. Isn't that so cute? Um, I made this one the other day. It says, don't be afraid to fly. Um, now all of these are homemade, so they're not perfect. Not by any kind of type of means. And then this one, it says, dream a little dream of me. Oh, that's so cute. And then the one behind it says, upside down that's what it says it says peace love and happiness Ooh. so these are really they're just really cute they're really adorable I'm having a very therapeutic time making them so that makes them even better to me um I've also made my salves I've also just I'm making a little doing little odds and end things um, I figure there would be a lot of things that'll be fun for kids um, I have these <laughs> sticks here course I grabbed none of them that I wrote on. I'm posting little like they're little craft sticks. So they're, they're, they're popsicle sticks without a popsicle on them. Um, I've been posting little or writing little things on them. Little positive messages. I'm going to go get some rhinestones and some magnets and glue them on there. Sell them for the price of the materials because it's not really the money I'm after with those. It's the positive messages. Um, I find that I have found that most of everything that I am planning on making and selling at this craft fair is to bring positivity and light. Um, okay, I covered that. I got some new cards in. Oh my gosh! I have these. These are not the ones I'm using tonight, by the way. No, I'm going to use Animal Wise Tarot because these just came in. I haven't really had time to work with them or meditate with them or put my energy into them and I have these these are just tiny little cards they're so cute and then my favorite ones ever these are color your own oh my god I'm so excited to color these you have no idea all right um but I'm not gonna color them tonight no I'm gonna do messages from heaven in a lightning fast speed I've been shuffling the deck when my hands aren't busy showing you things um, I hope all of you have had a good day. 
Um, I hope all of us have a good week in store because I can't handle it if it's going to continue to be like this day <laughs> all week. All right. Ooh. Sorry. I am trying to figure out these. We have the chickadee on the bottom, boom, which is the four of swords, which tells us to seek our inner truth is, yes, I mispronounced that word and I mispronounced it on top uh, for a reason, <laughs> on top. I can't speak either apparently, it's just apparently it's not my thing. So we are seeking our inner truth this week, whoop, whoop. that's going to be a great time. <sighs> Oh, wish fulfilled. Balance the work and the play. <gasps> Vision and spiritual perception. Oh, sweet cycles and worlds. Unique inspiration and aid. Ancient power of play. Hidden knowledge and changing. News of changing environments. Ooh, I feel like I've pulled the majority of these cards for one of these videos. Which one was it? Which one was it? I want to say Gemini. Gemini. I'm pretty sure this correlates with your reading. Oh, speaking of, I still have to do Virgo through Taurus. <laughs> Those will come tomorrow. Maybe? Alright. Let's begin. Lightning fast, remember? Alright, we have the Nine of Cups. Boom! We are overflowing with good news. Ooh! That is so cool. Sorry, you can't see it, but when I move my hands, my... My... <laughs> My hair was lagging just a little bit and you know when you have sparklers in the nighttime and you're like making shapes or whatever this is what my hand looks like I don't know if you can see it or not if you can see it like the trail that it makes that's awesome comment for me if not then I'm very sorry that you just saw me going like this a bunch of times <laughs> love <laughs> anyway we have the nine of cups which tells us we are overflowing with uh, I want to say abundance but this is yeah, abundance. Okay, we're overflowing with abundance. We have our wishes fulfilled. I wish for $5,000 today. I doubt I'm going to get that. But you never know. I put it out there. Yeah, I just want somebody to give it to me. I would love to pay off my debt, my credit cards. I would love to pay off my loans. Um, That would not pay off my student loans, however. So, whatever. It's not a big deal. But yeah, I would love to have $5,000. This is talking about wish fulfillment. I'd love to have that wish fulfilled, but I feel like this is not that. It's not the wish that's going to be filled. It's going to be a deeper wish. All right? Now we're getting into it. It's going to be a deeper wish, one that we've been longing for for a long time. Ooh, buddy, that's a deep one, isn't it? All right, so whatever you think it is you're wishing for, just realize that's not probably not going to be it. It's going to be the one that you've been hoping for and subconsciously wanting for a very long time. All right. Next one, we have two of pentacles. Boom! All right. This is a juggling act. All right. So you're balancing things. Work and play and work and play. You really need to make sure that you're balancing your life out. Um, not necessarily work and play. Um, let's make sure you're balancing change with sameness, okay? You don't want to have too much change. It throws off the balance of things. You don't have too much sameness. Otherwise, you're going to get bored. So you really need to fa focus on making sure that you're balanced and that you're juggling things correctly. All right. I'm thinking of bills here. So make sure that if you are wanting to buy something specific, um, a new boat, a new RV, a new something or another, I'm seeing a vehicle or camper of some type. Make sure that if you are buying that or a trip, mm, tattoo, something frivolous. Now, frivolous means something that oh my god michael shit for those of you who've watched my videos before you know my nose always starts itching when the archangel michael is near me and he tends to come around and make my nose itch when i'm really hitting that note hitting it on the nose anyway <sighs> make sure it's all balanced um this is definitely financial i'm feel i'm seeing the financials here um so if you want to buy something 
on that's not a necessity I don't I, won't, I don't want to say that because sometimes frivolous buys are a necess necessary thing in our life so make sure that when you buy this thing um, you do have enough setback for your bills okay I'm seeing a trip to the casino or something but make sure that you're not spending so much so you still can't pay all of your bills okay make sure that you still have that roof over your head you still have your utilities you still have food in your stomach and your kids are taken care of all right now with the next one bam, the queen of swords she tells us that we are having in the midst of this week um visions and spiritual perceptions come on to us okay so okay i just thought of my dream last night that just popped in my head randomly um i got very very i don't want to call it a nightmare because it wasn't a nightmare it was literally me running from my gifts and it was the universe's way of telling me that i need to not be afraid of them because i do feel like they're growing and i don't have anybody to talk to about them um so um i'm kind of frightened um but not really. I don't know how to explain it. It's very unnerving to know, not know what's coming next. Um, so in the stream, I was literally, you know, that movie, The Shining, where the little boy's riding his little fake bicycle or whatever down the hallway. That was me going down the street. I don't know what they're called. It's like a tricycle or something. But I was like pedaling down the street. And mind you, I'm a full grown woman. And I was on this tiny little bike trying to pedal away. And it was even versus way of telling me like, you can pedal all you want to, but you're not going to get away from this. This is something that you're going to have to accept. So that was the universe's way of letting me know that, hey, this is your plan. This is the plan for you. Um, so you might as well just accept it okay it's gonna happen one way or another so it's a spiritual per perception that came on to me um i know the first thing that i don't know about everybody else but when i have a nightmare or something i immediately surround myself with my light okay i surround myself with the light from the universe the goodness the purity of the earth and god's light because i am a christian not in the traditional sense um but i am a christian um I do believe in God and I surround myself with his light. I, his, it's a very healing light for me. So that is my spiritual perception. Um, it's very healing. Um, so when these visions come on and I do get scared or I feel like I'm spinning out of control, I make sure that I, uh, I wrap myself in that light and that loving and that serenity. Um, and that's what the Queen of Swords tells us, that when we are at our most vulnerable, that's when we are needing to find our stability we need to focus on our spirituality the most um and we need to perceive it in the way in which we can understand it i don't know if that makes any sense because it's not really making sense in my head but it does make sense the words aren't forming correctly i don't know if that makes sense to you or not. i just used the word sense like 15 times um just remember that the queen of swords reminds us that we need to focus on the, that okay now oh, the six of swords bam the six of swords the six of swords tells us that we are starting a journey oh my god we are moving between cycles and we are moving between worlds that goes right back to the visions card okay with the queen of swords Ooh, we've got a lot of swords don't we we got one cups card Mostly swords and wands. Woo. We have two pentacles, two swords, and two wands. Isn't that fantastic? Anyway, this reminds us that we are going on this journey. We are going on a spiritual journey here. Doo, doo, doo. So we need to find what compels us, what moves us forward, where our power and our energy and our light source comes from okay and when i'm saying power i don't mean like ooh, hocus pocus like harry potter no i mean our personal power okay our backbone our ability to get out of bed in the morning and brush our hair our ability to get out of bed and take care of the kids okay that is the power i'm talking about this is the personal power that is deep inside all of us and it's time that we really reclaim that and that's where this journey is leading us it's leading us on a path in which we will become absolutely 
secure in our own power, our own being, our own worth. Okay, we are we are growing that back bone so strong that it's going to be unbreak. It's going to be damn near impossible to break that backbone. Okay, we might fall and we might stumble, but we will always get back up because of this journey that we are going on. We've been on it several times in our lives for different reasons. This month, this year, this week is really really pushing it towards us we really need to open ourselves up and allow ourselves to accept this personal power okay we really need to accept that hey i do have the ability to get out of bed today i am not going to be uh, a slave to my depression i'm not going to be a slave to my anxiety i'm not going to let my social anxiety ruin my life anymore okay i have the personal power to get out of bed and brush my hair that's a big accomplishment for me because most of the time I don't even brush my hair. Most of the time I just run my fingers through it or I put a straightener to it to get out the curls and then I go. I'll be lucky if I put on makeup most days. So this is the week where we are really taking back that control, okay? We are strengthening our spine, we're straightening it because next week we have a big change coming. I feel that, I feel it so deep in my soul that we are preparing ourselves for this. I don't know if anybody else feels this, but we are preparing ourselves for whatever's coming for next week and the rest of the month because there's some big changes coming. Now right into the next card, we have the Three of Wands. All right, the Three of Wands tells us that we have unique inspirations coming our way. We have unique... I think of a fortune teller at a fair. Okay, you know, the really, the really cliche ones where, mind you, I would love to be one of these cliche ones because it's so much fun. Um, I'm talking like they're all dressed up and they have the rings and the bracelets and the headgear and she's got the crystal ball that I would love to have. Oh my god. It's gonna be one of my next purchases by the way. I love them. They have an amethyst one. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Um, <laughs> this is the unique inspiration. I like I, I got off topic. I see somebody like that stopping you randomly. Whether you're at a fair or it's that little box thing with where you put in a quarter and he tells you your future or whatever. I don't know what it is. But I feel like this is it's going to come somewhere where you really don't believe it. But at the same time, it's really kind of ringing for you. You're like, maybe this could happen. And then you start to believe it. And you start thinking on it. And you're like, okay, this actually could happen if I let it. That's where this is going to come from. This unique inspiration for doing something huge, guys. Okay? We have something huge coming next week and the week after that. So we really need to be prepared for that. We need to accept this unique inspiration from wherever it comes from, and it. we need to accept it, okay? That's what that one's about. Now, the Queen of Pentacles. This is not the lightning round because we're already at 18 minutes, but I feel like I am talking so fast. Anyway, the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, it's a lynx on this card. Ooh, it's so cute. I just want to cuddle it. Anyway, this one tells us of hidden knowledge and creativity. Boom. I want to really focus on the hidden knowledge part of this, okay? This goes right back with the unique inspirations. Um, when somebody tells you, hey, so-and-so did something-something or whatever, you know, okay. I don't know why the analogy just popped out of my mouth, but it did, so obviously it means something. So we need to take the hidden knowledge that we have because you know that that person telling you that gossip is a lie, all right? So you need to take the knowledge that you know and you really need to slap that person with it because people who spread lies are not good for you they are not good for that other person they are not good for themselves they are not good for the greater being of the universe okay they are spreading badness they are spreading lies and they are spreading negativity and we don't need that kind of negativity in our lives all right we have a direct light from the upstairs from the universe flowing over us right so we really need to use our hidden knowledge wisely so when you hear somebody talking bad about somebody else or being just spreading lies this is your chance use your backbone don't be afraid you approach them you say hey you're lying you need to stop spreading lies about this person you need to stop doing this you need to be more positive all right now boom follow right by the justice card this is telling us that we have the right 
to tell those people that they need to stop, that they need to stop being so negative, they need to stop spreading their negativity on somebody else because that person that they're spreading negativity on does not need that in their life. They are going through something awful, okay? I don't know who it is, but somebody is going to be talking crap about somebody who is going through something horrible and it's going to be up to us to step in and say, hey, you need to stop. We are working for karma this month. We are working for that ancient power of justice, okay? We have the right, we have the authority, the absoluteness of the universe coming into us and saying, hey, it's you, your turn to step up. You need to steal your spine and you need to tell those people to stop. You need to tell them to leave that person alone. They may start talking about you. That's absolutely fine because we have that steal of spine, right? We can take it. We don't care what other people think. We don't care what small-minded individuals think of us because we are strong and we can take it. We have a great support system, but the, that as long as they're not talking about that other person who is so low right now, the one bad word and they may commit suicide. They may give up on life completely. Okay, so by directing the, that negative energy towards us, we can balance that out with the light that we have, okay? We can counteract that negativity and push it away from us with our light, but as long as we are redirecting it away from this person here, then they are no longer getting all of this negative energy. They will be finally able to be able to see the light, okay? I don't know if any of that makes sense, but that's the analogy that popped in my head. So obviously one of you is going to resonate with this and you really need to step up. You really need to help this person. Okay. The final card that we have is the page of wands. Now the page of wands, page, page of wands tells us that we have a news of changing environment coming about, whether it's a new job whether it's a new house, whether it's, hold on, it's forming, job, house, friendship, friendship and family, okay, that's where it's at, so we have new people coming into our friendship circle, we have new friends growing into us, we have new people coming into our truth tribe, our truth circle, our family of friends who are family, but they're not blood, but they are our friends. They are our complete support system. Okay. We have new people coming into that, or we have new people who we might bring into that. Okay. This is a new prospect. This is not a new job. This is not a new house. This is a new person coming in. Okay. I feel it. Ooh, I feel it. I'm so exhausted. Please excuse me. Now with this person, it could very well be the person that you are helping, okay? It could be the person that you are get lending light to. It's you're pushing light into them because they have none of their own. They can't see the light. They are just completely overrun with the darkness. They are completely overwhelmed with despair that's what it is so by bringing this person into our truth tribe into our closest circle of friends we can help them grow we can help them see the light again and by doing so we will gain another person in our tribe we will gain another confidant we will gain somebody else who we can count on no matter what because we were there for them at their lowest they'll be there for us at our lowest they'll help us help build us up as we're helping build them up so just be cautious be aware of who this person is i know it's going to resonate with some of you at least half of you okay not just one or two at least half of you watching this video will resonate and you know who this person is already as soon as i said it it clicked and you already know who the person is call them up say hey why don't we get coffee hey why don't you come over to my house in your pajamas we'll watch movies and eat pizza rolls all right just do something to make them know aware that you actually do care and you are there for them and make them aware that hey you're not alone in this fight even if they say that they are they're fine 
okay? Even if they say, no, I'm good today, you know, just make them aware. Talk, make sure they talk on the phone for a while, okay? Because there's something going on in their lives that they need to vent it out. Okay, they may not be at the steps of suicide yet, but if they continue to receive the negativity that they're receiving at the moment, they're going to be there. So you really need to find them. You need to envelop them in your light and your love, and you need to accept, bring them into your truth tribe so that they can do the same thing for them, okay? So that your tribe, so these people that are your absolute confidants, they can help this person grow as well, okay? Because you know this person, and they are such a beautiful person on the inside. Oof, I am just dropping cards. I'm trying to draw one more card so that we have some resolution here. Um, what is the resolution? The message is strong today, guys. You need to really pay attention to it. I know it's a pretty long video. It's not 44 minutes, though. Woo! Look at us going. Alright, so we really need to focus on this person. We need to find them. We need to make sure that they are no longer in the dark. Okay, because a lot of people are afraid of the dark. I hate to say that. Oop, boop, boop. All right, so boom, these three cards right here fell out. They all say the same thing in different ways. Okay, we have harmony and peace. We need to do this. We need to help this person so that they can, we can live our lives in harmony and everything in peace. We need to tell these negative sayers, these negative spreaders to stop. So that there can be peace, okay? Um, the That was the Four of Wands, and this is the Knight of Wands. Ooh. Yep. Okay, and this one tells us of survival instincts. So their survival instincts are kicking in right now because they're so low. They don't know what to do. We really need to um, steal our spines. We need to survive, okay? We know how to survive. We need to share these survival instincts with these other people. We need to share with them how we get our light inside of us, okay? The last one, heed the call of the quest. Don't turn away from this. That's what that means. This person needs you. Their life literally depends on it, okay? You can believe me. You don't have to believe me. I don't care. I delivered the message. This person's life depends on you, it depends on those nice words. It depends on whether or not you're going to step in while that person is, be though these people are being mean to this person. Okay. So with that being said, you need to steal your spine. You need to come into your own power. You need to realize that you stepping into the situation is the universe's way of giving justice. Okay. It's karma's way of intervening. Okay. It, you are literally the not the messenger not the soldier i want to say you are the giver okay you are the middleman you are it's the messenger i hate to say it that way because there's not really i hate to say it that way but that's what it is okay so with that being said guys i'm getting off here because we're already at 30 minutes i love you if you need anything clarified just send me a message comment doesn't matter however you want to do it um and i hope all of you have a very lovely evening until next time um you know how to get a hold of me if you need me okay um i will be posting more videos for june 2018 for the different signs probably later this week i will start i will continue to make them um but i love you guys and i'm here if you need me Bye.